Hello? Anyone here? Day 14. I knew I should have volunteered for the evacuation earlier. For months, Morik had been going on to the vigilance about detecting mystical energies deep in the East Mountains. Said he'd found some old tomes about the ruins of Runvald, or something the like, I don't know, a Nordic chamber thousands of years old. I remember thinking, yeah, if it's so old, how come no one's found it yet? There's plenty of adventurers wandering around these parts. Seemed like most of the other vigilants agreed. We had more important things to do. But Morak took a team and went digging. And when he started turning up a long buried temple, well, didn't I feel like a troll in the dung heap. Soon enough, he was sending back letters to the hall, begging for as many men as we could send. I didn't volunteer at first, still seemed like a myth to me, but when word came back that they'd hit the main chamber, I packed up and headed this way to help. Always did want to be a part of history, and better late than never, they say. Well, they didn't mention that the latecomers would be stuck with guard duty. I just sit up here all day watching for bayonets and wolves, neither of which I've seen. Mostly I just see diggers coming up for supplies. Gotta say, I've been seeing them a lot less regular now that I think about it. Day 19. Alright, it's been three days since anyone's come up. The last one to emerge was Appa, and he just walked around a bit with a weird, vacant look in his eyes. Told Florentius and me to come down as soon as we had the chance. Then trudged back in. Something ain't right, and I aim to find out what. Volk. Well, Volk, you're not here. The fire's dead. There must be trouble afoot. But my, what a nice view. Uh, Serana? Hello? Well, let's see if he teleports to me when I go inside. Or we're gonna test out that special spell. There you are. Hmm. I hear workers. Okay, Vigilance, Florentius. Who's there? I've got you in my sights. Uh oh. Did you hear something? Ha! Found you. Okay, they're not friendly, Vigilance. Charmed Vigilant. I'll take those. Seems the vigilants have run into more trouble. All right, I hear a dog. Hopefully, it's not charmed too. I think we're gonna go cautious since we got attacked by two vigilants. Maybe they only went after you because you're a vampire. What was that? You have my back. Uh, 
I have to say, the Vigilants are really not having a good time of it. past me a great mistake. right there Just right in front of me scratch we may be in for more trouble yeah I've kind of figured that out oh oh do, do, don't tell me you did that okay I'm sorry you have my back and I'll help you What? Okay, we need to talk, Serana. Oh yeah, this boy. We gotta do something about this. Okay, so we've alerted somebody below us, I think. This is in your day. You hear something. Oh, lots of them. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, doggy. <laughs> Oh, who are you taking out, Serana? Take a little healing. Well, I don't know. Hmm, she seems stuck again. I've had this before, but she seems stuck in battle. It might be when I kill one of her charmed people. This won't end well for you. Toronto, let's have a little talk, cause conjuration really upsets Terra. Yes. What did you need? I mean, you've probably caught on, but uh, looks like we have to find a man named Florentius. Great. Another dungeon crawl. This is just lovely. I know. Why is this? Florentius person even necessary to help because we'd be going through all this trouble to rescue him and please do keep in mind that I'm still not too comfortable with slaying my own kind Serene, Gunmar, and Isran seem to think he's important I can get where you're coming from with Serene and Gunmar but Isran not really Point. Don't you remember that you had to convince him in the first place? It only took a sentence. Look, we need Florentius, okay? I wanted to listen to those two if I didn't believe it. If I were a betting woman, I'd say there's no convincing you, at the very least. Well, for what it's worth, I'll come with you. Anywhere's better than hanging around here in the fort. Glad you agreed, since you already agreed, and um, I need to remember you to think ask a her. You vampire would be right at home in a place like this. You'd be wrong. I mean, it's a mine. I wouldn't be comfortable here either. And I do need to remember to ask her these sorts of things more often right after we get quests. But back to the um, original reason I wanted to speak. What now? We're going to ask some questions after we finish this mission, because there's lots we seem to be able to ask now that I'd love to do. But before we get to that... Hey, Serana. Oh? What is it? Uh, 
I'd like you to stop using some spells. Oh, which spells? Well, no, that one's fine. Really? You're not, you're not gonna stop? I can't ask you about conjuration? I can't wait to see the courtyard again. Okay. Jeez, I'm probably still gonna kill everything you summon. <laughs> it really would be nice if we could back her off the conjuration. I imagine once you teach her more spells, got a little more flexibility. Let's see who else, what else we can find. Nord Ruins, here we come. Oh, I hear another puppy. What's inside? Random loot. I'm not someone to be trifled with. Oh, I'm sorry, Husky. Did you eat a ring? Yes. What did you need? This gold... Is someone there? You guys are really... Intuitive. Now you're mine. Oh, it's on. I'm not someone to be trifled with. Hmm. Volume three. Discovering Runvald. Volume 3, by Morik Vidry. Oh, we know he's in here, or is in here, somewhere. The damnable headaches. The Norn be merciful. Just can't seem to shake them. The workers have started to report them as well, but while their focus on conversation and civility may wane because of it, they've not swayed from their task. If anything, they seem to have doubled their efforts. I myself cannot seem to focus on anything other than the dig. I sit here now, studying some unearthed Nordic artifacts, yet I feel a nagging call to see how the dig is progressing. The other day, without thinking, I picked up a shovel and started digging myself. Fortunately, no one seemed to find this unusual, which is a blessing. I'd hate for the vigilance of Fenorn to think that I'd lost my senses. As we dig, we uncover more Nordic ruins and architecture, but have yet to hit the main chamber. Every day I dream we'll finally reach Runvald, and I can't help but reflect on what this will mean to my reputation. My family will be so proud, especially my father, Manorn. He and mother have always been interested in my studies, even if my sister, Manorn, was not. Hmm. But I'm most excited to reveal my findings to my colleagues, Manorn and Manorn. And perhaps my mentor, Manorn. Oh, won't they all be pleased? Well, something's up with that name. Ah, oh, the smell here. Let's try to handle this quickly. I'm working on it. Gotta loot the place, too.
Well, ouch. Someone there? Man, they're sensitive. Who's there? Is someone there? Are you all right? Let me know if you need anything. Never should have found it. Who's there? Oh, sorry, Volk. Tough day for you. Are you all right? Let me know if you need anything. I need you to yes. stop raising the what dead. Oh, we'll take uh, one of those. Those and certainly that. Sorry, puppy. Uh, oh, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> Might as well read about vampires when we get a chance. This place makes me feel a little uneasy. Let's not stick around here for too long. Good point. That might be where we need to go. The Scripture of Benorton by Morek. Glory be to Menorn, glory to the mistress of all. My life for you, O oh beautiful Savior. Where once my feeble rambling seemed so grand, I now realize they are but scratches on parchment, unworthy of you. Oh, that I could properly describe you. I would write a thousand testaments to you. Damn my tiny thoughts, if only I were wiser. Benorn asks that we bring more here for her, more to worship her and do her bidding. I have sent word to the Hall of Vigilance to come. A simple lie was told, for they would not understand. Not until they saw her, O oh, glorious Benorn. But she is fearful. There are fools in this world that do not heed her beautiful voice. The guard, Florentius, sent from the beacon, he still prays to Arche, an absentee god who pales in comparison to Menorn. I will pray to the goddess I can see. May he rot in his cage. Oh, sweet, sweet Menorn. Well, somebody seems a little I don't know, brainwashed.
There you are. Now you're oh, yeah. Cry now, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Morik. No more. You did pretty good out there. Nice work. Where? Oh. Well. Oh, by the gods. What a vulgar display. Kinda seems to be your fault, lady. Why don't we, uh, solve the problem? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. You want something from me? Oh, yes. <laughs> I need that key. I'm gonna take that staff too. Well, that alone would be enough to make Terra mad. She has a thing about no one using illusion spells. Yes. What did you need? I need to check these guys for anything valuable. Bolts. But right now. We're gonna check on this man in the cage. I think we know who this is. I knew it. I knew RK would save me. I asked for help and he sent you. You are a very welcome addition to this dreary place, my friend. I owe both you and RK a great deal. I'm sure I'll manage to repay him later, but you, what can I do to thank you? You can meet me at Fort Dongard. I suppose I could. What, pray tell, is there? Isran needs your help. Isran? My help? Is this some kind of a joke? Did RK put you up to this? Isran's done nothing but mock me. He's never given me the respect I deserve. Look, he's a bit of a jerk, but please, we need your help. Look, I've just got myself out of quite a mess here, in case you haven't noticed. And while I appreciate your help, I... What's that? No, that's not what I... Yes, but... Are you sure? Really? Fine. Arke says it's a good idea for me to go. I don't agree. He's not the sort of fellow you can just ignore. I'll see you at Fort Dawnguard then. Don't worry. RK will show me the way. Okay then, you apparently listen to RK. I suspect that just might be why people thought you were a bit weird. I'm okay with the dark. But I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Understood. We'll leave soon, but, uh... So, what do you want to talk about? Do you have any clues about the other Elder Scroll? Dexion said something about that scroll. What was it? Something to do with dragons, I think. Maybe we should try asking at the College of Winterhold. Sounds like something they'd know about. Alright, good idea. I can't wait to see the courtyard again. We'll get there. Yep. After you? No? Alright, let's get back to the fort. Make sure Florentis is there. Ah, uh, here we go. We'll get back to that fort soon, but let's, um... This seems like Maureen's bedroom, if you can call it that. Yes? What did you need? I, I, I needed to open the chest. Hold on. I can't wait to see the courtyard again. 
Okay, okay, I know. I really know, don't know why I ever pick up soul gems. It's not like Terra ever uses them. All right, we'll leave that one. But we are definitely taking these supplies. Look at that. Look at that. Time to go. Let's get back to the fort. Alright, let's do this. I don't raise the gargoyle. <laughs> really? Man, that was um, quite the surprise attack. Were you and Valeria, your mom, close? Before my father became obsessed with the prophecy, mother and I spent quite a bit of time together. She was very fond of her alchemical garden in the castle courtyard. She taught me quite a bit about cultivating quality regions. So you always got along? Like the best of friends. I would never hesitate to share anything with her. But then it changed. It was very sudden. It was almost like one day we were a normal family, and then the next, I didn't know who they were. I tried to visit my mother in the garden, and she quickly shoo me away, saying she was much too busy. That's why we're headed there. She had to be up to something in that garden. I'm hoping it's a clue that will tell us where she went. Tell me about your family. There's not a whole lot to tell. You've already seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but you'll see that soon enough. Sounds like you didn't like either of them very much. It's not that simple. I guess it never is with families, is it? What about you? What were your parents like? Oh, hmm. Well. We didn't really get along and still don't. It's best that I haven't seen them in a while. That's too bad. Do you know how they're doing now? My sister keeps a little bit in touch, but we're all better off this way. That makes sense. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. How does it feel to be a vampire? Hmm, it does feel kind of normal. But that's from me, speaking as a vampire. Even as I'm undead, or however you put it, I still do feel like a normal person, mostly. I still breathe, feel, and sleep, except now I just have a great desire for blood, and the sun kind of irritates my skin. These symptoms are rather mild, though, not like other vampires who almost burn in the sunlight. So, I'm really just like you mortals in many ways. Hopefully that makes me more relatable. Were you always a vampire? That's... a long story. 
I want to hear it. I guess... We kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Well, a particular Daedric Lord. Exactly. The first vampire came from Molog Ball. She was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molog Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. How did you actually become a vampire then? The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity. But I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. How has it affected your family? Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. Hope you're getting along with Isran. It takes some getting used to. Hey, Serene. What can I do to help? I've got more leads on additional Dwemer plans. Those last ones helped me immensely. If you could collect this one for me, it's sure to result in extraordinary success. Will do. Until next time. Well, look who it is. Ake says it's good that we're here, but I don't know. Something about this place doesn't feel right. What? No, 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 no. Y yes. Yes, I see. All right. Right. I'll settle in, and then Ake and I will start to put things right. Don't you worry. Laurentius, do you know anything about the old Dawn Guard? Oh, I've read a few things, heard a few more things. Arke has told me a bit as well. The story they'd like you to believe is that they were such a noble bunch, doing the honorable thing and saving lives. Only I hear that's not quite how it happened. Secret organization, you see. No one to blame when homes are broken into, things stolen. Heard they'd go on midnight raids, pillaging and looting, and then stash the spoils somewhere, guarded by their sigil. Arke tells me the Sunfire spell can break open those caches, but I've never found one. I think you might be lying to me. Sunfire spell, huh? What can I do to help? Sorry needs help with her project to improve our crossbows. And if that doesn't interest you, speak with Gunma. He has something for you. Thank you very much. Farewell. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Still have plenty to do, but we got to know Serana a little bit better. And hey, there is now one more new member to the Dawn Guard. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Be kind to yourself. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>